हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू विजिलेंट ऑनलाइन वर्कशॉप दिस इज हाशिम साइबर सिक्योरिटी एनालिस्ट एट विजिलेंट द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज बैच प्रोग्रामिंग बिफोर वी स्टार्ट अबाउट बैच प्रोग्रामिंग आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू अ सिंपल ट्रिक यूजिंग कमांड फ्रॉम द ट्रिक इज हाउ टू हाइड अ फोल्डर और अ फाइल This is my folder. The name of the folder is batch. I want to hide this folder. So simple, just go to open a command prompt. Now the path is C uses Suraj, and my folder to be hidden is in C drive. So I'll be going in C drive, and I want to hide this folder. So I'll be using a command. The name of the command is attrib a t t r i b space plus r plus a plus s plus h. R stands for read only. A stands for archive. S stands for system files. H stands for hidden. When you write these parameters, you have to write give a space and then write the name of the folder the name of the folder is batch g a t c h and you can see this folder is hidden batch folder is hidden now i want to i want the folder to be revealed i want the folder to unhide so i'll be using the same command and in the parameter i'll be giving minus instead of plus see the batch folder we have retried this folder now what is batch programming batch programming is in command prompt basically we execute one command at a time but in batch programming we try to execute multiple commands at the same time let us create a simple bat file in case of windows xp cd minus h minus s Minus R, del NTLDR means delete. What this code will do? This will take me to the C drive. This command CD. This command will reveal all the hidden folder that is present in the C drive. And in case of XP, there are few files such as NTLDR, NTDetect. boot dot ini these are few files required for an operating system to boot and all of these file all these file are stored in the c drive in case of xp so when i type this command when this command is executed all the hidden files will be revealed and simply then i have to delete ntldr delete the file with the name ntldr so that when the user restart the computer he won't be able the computer won't be able to start because it will show you the error ntldr file is missing so when you write a code like this save it like bat batch dot with the extension bat bat and you can see a file is created the batch file looks like this and if i want to edit it i just have to right click on that and click on edit now this was a batch file which is used to delete the ntldr folder now we'll write another batch batch file
rabbit at md stands for make directory now what this will do echo is a command of command prompt similar to printf in c this and we are disabling that command so whatever we are executing it will not be seen this is a label label top now md md will create a directory with a random name a random number and i am saying go to top it will go to the top and again it will create a directory with random number then again it will go to the top then again it will create a directory with random number this is an example of a virus a kind of virus and the name is rabbit because it is self replicating itself till someone doesn't stop it or it performs it its action that is crashing the hard disk so this was all about batch programming and viruses and rabbits thank you